Hey, uh, welcome back. I'm going to do a little short video. It's really not a gun video. It's how I or what I use to clean my guns. And the reason I'm doing this is I have seen so many K98s and Mosin Nagants and um, older older guns that have been damaged because people shoot corrosive ammo and then don't pro either don't clean them or don't properly clean them. So you're out at the range, you shoot your your gun with corrosive ammo, and you know you're not going to be home cleaning it in you know an hour. You might have to go out to dinner with the wife or whatever, and you may not get till the next day. So, oh, and by the way, I don't get any money from anybody. This is just what I use. And uh, as I said in my demonetized video, I make uh, jack shit from these videos and jack left town. So this is just my opinion. If you don't want it, don't take it, okay? First thing to do, if you're shooting corrosive ammo, hit your um, barrel and your bolt face with something like this, like a PB blaster. Uh, Deep Creep is actually my favorite, but it's three times as much. So if you're really shooting a lot, PB blaster. If you're only shooting a few corrosive guns, Deep Creep. Deep Creep is a much better penetrating oil. That'll give you a 24 hour window that you can let your gun sit and it'll also make it a little easier to clean when you actually clean it. So, penetrating oil. What do you do when you actually clean it? Of course, what you're going to do if the gun's got penetrating oil is when you take it apart is to wipe the penetrating oil off, common sense, and then start cleaning. For rifle bores, this is what I use. I have not found a better rifle bore cleaner. It's called RB17. It's a thick ammonia-based cleaner. It dissolves lead and copper. It removes rust. It's kind of like miracle, miracle stuff. Um, it is by far the best rifle bore cleaner I've ever used. The problem with it is it's ammonia based. That means when you're done cleaning with this, you have to use something to displace this. In other words, in the nooks and crannies, because it is thick, it's a, almost as thick as some toothpaste. Um, you have to displace it out of the lands and grooves and stuff. So what I usually do is I use 725, but you can even use Hoppies or uh, WD-40 or even some penetrating oil on a patch just to get make sure this is all out. So on the bore, RB-17, on really, really built up carbon, like on um, muzzle boosters on, uh, say, an MG-42, I use RB-17 and a stainless toothbrush. One of the things about RB17 is you you can use a copper bore brush, but understand that since this is a copper cutter, too, over a period of time your bore brush is just going to dissolve. So um, I use stainless steel brushes on the bores it can handle, which is military bores, modern bores. If you have an old Winchester or something that the, scent, the barrel steel may not be that hard, use a copper brush and assume that after two or three times of using it, the copper brush is going to be trashed. So you have this, this is your bore cleaner. Then you have your general overall cleaning. Well, um, let's, let's not even go there. Let's go to hard carbon cleaning, um, the back of an AR-15 bolt, if, you th if most of you should have that so you understand the hard cleaning. But apply that to um, Mausers and stuff where you need a more aggressive cleaner, uh, but you don't quite want to use the RB17. Slip makes this stuff, they call it carbon killer. Uh, you got to shake it up to use it. I don't know if you saw it, but it actually changes color when you shake it up. I really like this. What I do with this is I pour it into one of those little magnetic um, tool things you can get at the AutoZone for $5. And I drop my parts in there and I pour this in and I can scrub them and the magnets will hold the parts down in this and they can soak. If it's really hard carbon, I can let it soak. Um, Water-based. Water-based. So, if you want to clean your brushes or stuff after to get the RB-17 out, we just keep an old iced tea jar with some water in it and just run it in there and cleans this right out. After I'm done with these two, overall cleaning. Let's wipe the gun down. Let's punch the bore to get this rid of this or get rid of this. I use 725. Um, 
Again, I use this because it's water-based. It's actually pretty cool. You use it, and I don't know about you, but I get to go like this, and I get splatters all over my shirt. When at the end of the day, I just take this, squirt it on my shirt, and throw it in the wash. Um, I haven't found a better general cleaner than this. I haven't found a better rifle bore cleaner than this. There are probably cleaners that are as good as this, but this, in conjunction with all the water-based stuff, cleanup is very easy and this and both of these aren't too hard on the sinuses now you got your gun clean now you got to dry what are you going to lube it with the only thing i use is slip 2000 this is actually a pretty old bottle i don't even think the bottles look like this anymore um i have not found anything that does a better job than this i have mg34s and 42s and uh, maxim guns and uh, a god-awful hotchkiss gun that simply didn't run with normal lube uh, too much friction too old shitty springs whatever this stuff actually has increased my reliability on my old guns it is expensive but it is by far the best gun lube that i have run into and people say oh frog lube slp 2000 or fp 2000 fp 10 or whatever if you like that stuff use that stuff i'm not saying that your mom any smarter than you but based on cleaning antique military weapons for 40 years with corrosive ammo this is the lineup i came up with this cuts my cleaning down time down to 20 minutes to 30 minutes on a gun that used to take me an hour and a half to two hours um, between soaking boosters and uh, soaking parts that are hard and using the stainless brush with the rb17 to break up hard carbon this is so easy uh, to clean it uh, Mosin the Gant that used to, you know, people, if you're using hoppies or whatever, you know, an hour to get, make sure that the bore is clean, at 15 minutes. Do whatever you want. I'm just asking you to maybe try this system or something similar to this system because we need to save these guns from the corrosive ammo. Thanks for watching. I guess you could consider this a PA public service announcement. Again, in the comments you're welcome to throw in what you what you'd use and maybe you'll come up with something better than I've come up with best thing that I can say is the more knowledge we exchange between each other the better off the gun community is thanks again